Hello, welcome to Master Matic. Hi, student. In this chapter, we will learn about factorization, expansion, and the simplify of algebraic fractions. Let's see some expansion example. Example one: expand a coefficient with a bracket. In this example, two is the coefficient, and the bracket is the term within the bracket, which is two x plus y. To expand a bracket with a coefficient, the coefficient is multiplied to each and every term within the bracket. In this case, the coefficient 2 multiplied with the term 2x plus the coefficient 2 multiplied with the term y. 2 times 2x equal to 4x and 2 times y equal to 2y. The expansion equal to 4x plus 2y. See one more example, which is to expand a bracket with a bracket. In this case, the term in the first bracket are 2x plus y, and the term in the second bracket is also 2x plus y. To expand two brackets, each term within the first bracket is multiplied with each term within the second bracket. In this case, the expansion equal to 2x multiplied with 2x plus 2x multiplied with y, plus y multiplied with 2x plus y multiplied with y. 2x multiplied with 2x equal to 4x squared. 2x multiplied with y equal to 2xy. y multiplied with 2x equal to 2xy. And y multiplied with y equal to y squared. The expansion is equal to 4x squared plus 2xy plus 2xy plus y square. You can simplify the answer into 4x square plus 4xy plus y square. Next, can you prove that bracket x plus y multiply with bracket x minus y equal to x square minus y square? And before you proceed, please mark this as mathematics tips 1 because you will use it for factorization in the next topic. To expand two brackets, each term within the first bracket is multiplied with each term within the second bracket. The negative xy and the positive yx can cancel out each other. So the answer is equal to x squared minus y squared. Next, let's prove that bracket x plus y squared equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y square. Also, please mark this as mathematics tips 2 because you will use it for factorization in the next topic. The bracket x plus y close bracket square is equal to bracket x plus y multiply with bracket x plus y. Then, just perform the expansion like the previous example. You will get x square plus 2xy plus y square. Now, prove bracket x minus y close bracket square equal to x square minus 2xy plus y square. Mark this as mathematics tips 3 for the factorization in the next topic. The method of expansion is similar to the previous example. Just have some positive and negative or plus and minus different. The last one, prove that bracket p plus q multiply with bracket x plus y equal to px plus py plus qx plus qy. Mark this as mathematics tip 4 for the factorization in the next topic. Before we proceed to the next topic factorization, you can try this question to test your understanding and the answers are provided at the end of this video. In the previous topic, we expand the algebraic A into algebraic B. If I want to reverse the algebraic B back into algebraic A, we have to perform factorization. We can perform factorization by extracting the common factor or using tips 1 to tips 4 that we learned in previous topic. 
factorization example by extracting the common factor. For example, factorize 4x plus 2y. Step 1 is to find the common factor of 4x and 2y. 4x can be 4 multiplied by x, 2 multiplied by 2x, and 1 multiplied by 4x. While 2y can be 2 multiplied by y and 1 multiplied by 2y. Among all these factors, the common factors of 4x and 2y are 1 and 2. 2 is the highest common factor. Then, we extract the highest common factor, which is equal to 2 bracket 2x plus y close bracket. For factorization, we will use tips 1, tips 2, tips 3 or tips 4 if we are unable to find out the highest common factor. See this example, use tips 1 which is bracket x plus y bracket x minus y equal to x square minus y square to perform the factorization. To factorize k square minus 16, we will compare this algebraic expression with x square minus y square where the x square equal to k square, therefore x equal to k and 16 is equal to y square where 16 is also equal to 4 square therefore y equal to 4 then we will substitute x equal to k and y equal to 4 into the algebraic expression bracket x plus y bracket x minus y which is equal to bracket k plus 4 bracket k minus 4 Next, factorize k square plus 8k plus 16. This algebraic expression is similar to tips 2. Therefore, we will use tips 2 to perform the factorization. Like the previous example, we comparing k square plus 8k plus 16 with x square plus 2xy plus y square. In the comparison, we will find out x square equal to k square. Therefore, x equal to k then 16 equal to y square where 16 also equal to 4 square therefore y equal to 4 then we substitute x equal to k and y equal to 4 into the algebraic expression bracket x plus y multiply with bracket x plus y and you will get the answer bracket k plus 4 multiply with bracket k plus 4 Next, k square minus 8k plus 16. Is this algebraic expression similar to tips 1, tips 2, or tips 3? The answer is tips 3. So we will use tips 3 to perform the factorization. Similar to the previous example, we do the comparison. We will find out x equal to k and y equal to 4. Then you substitute x equal to k and y equal to 4 into the bracket x minus y multiply bracket x minus y and you will get bracket k minus 4 multiply with bracket k minus 4. The last one factorize kj plus 4k plus 2j plus 8. Obviously you will see this algebraic expression is different from tips 1, tips 2 or tips 3. Therefore you can use tips 4. First you comparing kj plus 4k plus 2j plus 8 with px plus py plus qx plus qy. In the comparison, you will see kj equal to px and 2j equal to qx. Therefore, j is equal to x, k equal to p, and 2 equal to q. Also in comparison, you will see qy equal to 8, where previously we have 2 equal to q. Substitute 2 into q, you have 2y equal to 8. Therefore, y equal to 4. Then, you can substitute j equal to x, k equal to p, 2 equal to q, and y equal to 4 into the algebraic expression, bracket p plus q, close bracket, multiply with bracket x plus y. And you will get bracket k plus 2, multiply with bracket j plus 4. Now, you can pause the video for 5 minutes and try this question. The answers are provided at the end of this video. The last topic of this chapter is 
simplify. An algebraic fraction can be simplified by elimination if both the numerator and denominator have common factors. For example, 100 over 10,000. You can simplify into 1 over 100. 10a over 50. You can simplify into a over 5. 5a squared over 7ab. You can simplify into 5a over 7b. And the last example, 5a square b cube over 7a cube b can simplify into 5b square over 7a. All this simplify is done by elimination of the common factors. The addition of algebraic fraction is similar to the addition of fraction. For the addition between algebraic fractions, both algebraic fractions that to be added together must have the same denominator. For example, 5 over 7ab plus a over b. The algebraic fractions a over b will be multiplied by 7a. So, both the denominator of the algebraic fractions will be the same before we can add it together. This is also similar to subtraction between algebraic fractions. Both the algebraic fractions must have the same denominator to perform the subtraction. For example, 5 over 7a minus 1 over a bracket b minus 1. The first algebraic fractions 5 over 7a will be multiplied by bracket b minus 1 and the second algebraic fractions 1 over a bracket b minus 1 will be multiplied by 7 therefore both their denominators of the algebraic fractions will be the same before we perform the subtraction. For the multiplication of algebraic fractions this is similar to the multiplication of fractions. The nominator of the first algebraic fractions will be multiplied with the nominator of the second algebraic fractions. Then, the denominator of the first algebraic fractions will be multiplied with the denominator of the second algebraic fraction. In this example, 5 multiplied by a equal to 5a, 7ab multiplied by b equal to 7ab squared. Then, you will get 5a over 7ab squared. Since the nominator and the denominator have the common factor a, they can be cancelled out each other and simplify into 5 over 7b squared. For division of algebraic fractions, first, you will switch the nominator and denominator for position of the second algebraic fractions. In this case, 5 over 7a divided by 1 over a bracket b minus 1. The second algebraic fractions 1 over a bracket b minus 1. The denominator 1 will be switched to the denominator position and the denominator a bracket b minus 1 will be switched into the nominator position. Then you perform the multiplication like the previous example. This chapter is finished. You may pause the video and try this question. The answers are provided at the end of this video.